We now know the likely cause of the mahogany fire, which ignited on Sunday and burned nearly 2,800 acres near Mount Charleston. As Kristen Drummond reports, it is now 40% contained, with more than 400 people still assigned to fighting it. And these red areas are areas of open line that we're continuing to work. A map outlines the mahogany fire. The black on the map is areas where we have full containment. Firefighters make progress this week following the flames igniting on Sunday. It was a campfire. Human caused. Near the Mahogany campsite between Kyle Canyon and Lee Canyon. It wasn't in the campsite. It was a camp outside the uh, campground uh, that was in the woods. I would, would have bet $100 against a dollar on that. <laughs> George Crosby and his wife live in Lee Canyon. He says dry conditions make the mountain optimal for wildfires right now. Up here, we haven't had rain in so long. We don't know how to spell rain anymore. Efforts on the ground and air this week helped stop the spread. A focus remains on the southern and eastern sides of the mountain where there are spot fires. These little dots, so those are uncontained areas that we're continuing to work on. They're doing a, an extremely good job for, for the terrain they're on, which is very, very steep. A portion of Lee Canyon Road was closed Thursday near State Route 158 as helicopters continue to access the reservoir at the Lee Canyon Ski Resort and crews work to remove certain trees. We're doing a falling operation, following some hazard trees along the road uh, just in case the fire gets up and moves around again. Taking precautions as fire crews fight the flames. Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now. It remains unknown when firefighters will have full containment. We also want to let you know that Lee Canyon Resort and Upper Lee Canyon Road will be closed tomorrow due to the fire.